beautiful souls, my name is Monica and I help people heal and create their most divine life of their dreams. In this video, I'll share with you three things you must do if you're going through a spiritual awakening. First of all, uh, we all know that the whole spiritual awakening journey can be very lonely as there are not many people out there still that can relate to what we're going through. And especially people who are going through a twin flame experience, I feel that they have it even harder because not many people can relate to what you are actually feeling on the inside, the profound levels of love that you're feeling towards this other human being who is not always necessarily treating you nicely and respectfully. So the first type of advice I really want to, want to give you is to surround yourself by people or community that loves you, lifts you and supports you and can guide you through this process. I have created a Facebook group called Twin Flames Ascension Mastery and I would love to invite you to join us where we share personal experiences and stories um, from the you know people all around the world going through the Twin Flame experience together you know helping one another um, through this process and um, it is also a beautiful way for you to ask questions and ask for help if you are struggling with something so connect with people who get you who are your soul family connect with people who understand what you're going through not only mentally but also emotionally and that, i think that is incredibly important secondly I think it's incredibly important to focus on your own healing and what I mean by healing this this term is widely used, uh, used um, especially on YouTube but uh, there are very specific types of healings that you may need to do in your twin flame journey that actually will enable you to heal on a very deep soul level and that is healing your mind your limiting and core beliefs on the subconscious level of the mind not consciously not just reading an affirmation and, and thinking that i fixed myself and it does it's not as um simple as that i would say it is simple but you need to have the right tools and healing your mental body on the subconscious level of the mind with the right tools will really speed up your process and will eliminate all these different layers of societal cultural religious programming programming from teachers and parents that, that has been limiting and um, is based on scarcity that, that basically doesn't serve you, only hurts you in life. So you need to eliminate all of that quickly, effectively and easily on the subconscious level of the mind with the right tools. And also heal your emotional body. That's again incredibly important to do in this twin flame journey because so many of us, and especially twin flames, have chosen to incarnate into very toxic family dynamics. So all childhood may have been full of trauma, full of abuse, full of mental, emotional, and God forbid, physical abuse that we may carry into our adult life. And if we've never healed that, in the right way again using powerful neuroscientific and um, again using powerful tools then we might be recreating those self-sabotaging patterns and limiting scenarios around love and money and jobs and so on that we actually don't want anymore and also allow yourself to reconnect to your higher self which um, will enable you to eventually discover your purpose your greatest passion and joy um, so if you focus on your healing and um, heal across all of your 
three important bodies, mental, emotional and spiritual, it will eventually then lead into healing your physical body and your physical reality because we know that we create from the inside out. Whatever inner state of vibration I'm vibing in right now, that is shown to me in my physical reality. And the more abundance and love, unconditional self-love and acceptance I feel towards myself and others, the more I feel safe, valued, accepted, loved, supported within me, the more that shows up on the outside in my external reality. So healing is incredibly important. And again, having the right tools to empower you and help you heal fast, effectively and easily is tremendously important here. And thirdly, I would like to encourage you to surround yourself by people who have already done that, who have already been through the journey, who have been through the entire cycle and understand exactly what you're going through. Get a coach, get, ask somebody from perhaps even our community, ask for help. Don't be afraid to reach out to people who know what they are talking about. If you need anything, ask me questions, ask me for help. And if you struggle with any part of this journey, then I want you to know that you have a friend who has gone through the same experience. And um, that friend is myself. I've been through the pain, the trauma, the rejection, the abuse, you name it, I've been there, the narcissistic abuse. And uh, it, has been brutally painful at times, but if I can push through that experience, I want you to know that you can do too. And um, it's so crucial to have a person that can guide you through this journey, that can um, spot where you are self-sabotaging, where you're operating from limiting patterns and beliefs, where you are maybe where your inner child has been wounded and you keep replaying that story over and over again. Having a coach you can trust, you know they are not only speaking from a book but they have actually have a physical experience and therefore a ton of wisdom to share with you but being very considerate not um, projecting their own experience onto you but allowing you to have your own experience. I think this is so incredibly important within the coaching industry because I have seen it personally myself where there are so many coaches popping up left, right and center where everybody believes that just because they've gone through some experience they automatically have the right to teach others and push their own journey onto other people and basically expect them to, to do it in the same way. This is where I differ from other coaches. My personal belief is that every single twin flame, no matter who you are, has their own experience. They have chosen their own journey. They have chosen whether they want to unite with their own twin flame counterpart in the physical or not and it is not up to me to tell them that it's up to that person I'm coaching to rediscover that within and reconnect to their own truth and this is why I, I'm so passionate about not projecting my own stuff onto other people but learning to empower and guide and enable people to connect to their own truth which I, I, I believe is so crucial in having um, a loving, supportive, considerate coach who is on your side, who is there to empower you make you believe in yourself, make you help you connect with your own truth and ultimately guide you to your highest joy. So having a coach who not only understands, who has been through the, through the same experience as you have, but who also enables you to experience your own world in your own way,